Hello, this is Hawker Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-2789. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. This SCP is also known as Self-Replicating Fast Food Chain. Let's get right into it. I remember SCP-2789, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Any discovered instances of SCP-2789 are to be immediately destroyed to prevent further spread. MTF Xi-17 Cross Country is currently assigned to locating instances as soon as they appear and investigating new instances by monitoring social media and other mediums, and reports of mass recording software failure and patterns that bear similarity to those of SCP-2789. As of this writing, SCP-2789-1 is currently non-containment, but members of MTF of Xi-17 have been instructed to make all possible attempts to attain it. A standard humanoid holding cell has been prepared in the event that SCP-2789-1 is successfully obtained. Description SCP-2789 is a fast food restaurant named Beef Belly Bills. The name is displayed on the front of the building and a sign outside the building. It operates as a lunch and breakfast food chain and has fully operating fryers, grills, and soda and ice cream machines. When an SCP-2789 first appears, it will integrate into nearby plumbing and electrical services by the use of pipes and electrical lines that extend out and connect to nearby systems. Upon appearance of an instance of SCP-2789, at least four staff members will be present inside the building. These staff members have no sense of identity and will only acknowledge that they are staff members of their instance of SCP-2789. Security footage obtained from nearby buildings show that the staff members do not leave SCP-2789, even after the indicated closing time of 10 p.m. If forcibly removed, they will vanish and reappear inside of SCP-2789's kitchen. If SCP-2789 SCP is destroyed, the staff members will dissolve into piles of tissues and bodily fluids that match the genetic samples of other biological material found within that particular instance of SCP-2789. The food served by SCP-2789 has no anomalous properties, and is edible in most situations. Over the course of each year an instance of SCP-2789 is open, 30 random people that buy food from it will be selected through an unknown process. These people will be told that the restaurant is having a special offer on that day, and will be offered a free burger with their choice of drink. Should the subject consume this, they, refer, they are to be referred to as an instance of SCP-2789-2. If they do not, another person within the vicinity will be chosen by staff members of SCP-2789. Approximately 5 hours after consuming this burger, SCP-2789-2 will display an urge to travel to a different location, most often in a large city that does not have an in instance of SCP-2789 present. Once SCP-2789-2 reaches the location it finds suitable, it will begin its transformation into a new instance of SCP-2789. Those who witness the transformation of SCP-2789-2 report having no memory of the incident, and all attempts to capture it on recording software have been met with failure, with attempts at recordings being completely replaced with static that may occasionally lapse into the Beef Belly Bills logo. That is a hard word to say. A little bit of a tongue twister if you ask me. The exact conditions of how this occurs are unknown due to the inability to successfully observe the transformation. But it is theorized that SCP-2789-2 undergoes symptoms similar to congestive heart failure. Following this, SCP-2789-2 would begin to rapidly increase in body mass until it reaches a height and width of nearly 4 meters. 
After SCP-2789-2 has reached its sufficient size, its body tissues and fluids will begin to change into materials commonly found in SCP-2789. Any structures that are in the way of the new SCP-2789 will be incorporated into the structure of the building or displaced into another location. SCP-2789 has been observed to bond with structures such as supermarkets, churches, gas stations, and libraries. Any humans present at the time of transformation will be re relocated inside of or near to SCP-2789. Forensic analysis of structural components of SCP-2789 has found traces of bone marrow and spinal fluid along with human epidermis used as insulation for electrical wires. The tests, genetically identical to the DNA samples obtained from local hospitals when available, of SCP-2789-2. During one inspection of the demolished remains of an SCP-2789, an enlarged human brain was recovered, with electrical impulses being given off, suggest suggesting that SCP-2789 may in fact be alive. During examination, an attempt was made to measure a neural oscillations of the brain. The wavelength of the brain and reports remained the same until a certain time of the same day of its recovery, which coincided with an attempt to detain SCP-2789-1 in which it demonstrated erratic activity before abruptly ceasing all narrow activity. SCP-2789-1 is an elderly man who claims to be the CEO of the company, and will appear whenever a new instance of SCP-2789 appears. Descriptions of SCP-2789-1 vary, but always include that it appears in formal clothing and bears a large mustache. Conversations with SCP-2789-1 have not proven useful, as it prefers to talk about the food at its restaurant, often asking subjects how it could improve the menu. Attempts to DNA SCP-2789-1 have been met with failure, as it frequently disappears with no explanation, often leaving behind a business card identifying itself as the owner of Beef Belly Bill's company along with what is presumed to be the name of a, in a currently unidentified language. Translation attempts are, on, are ongoing. Addendum. The following interviews were, have been conducted between employees of an instance of SCP-2789 in Redacted Colorado and SCP-2789-1 in Redacted Washington. Interview 1. Interviewed, an employee of SCP-2789. Interviewer, Researcher Bob. Forward, this interview took place before the evacuation and destruction of SCP-2789. Hi, welcome to Beefy Bills. How may we help you today? I'm looking for information. When, this, when did this restaurant get here? We officially opened for our business last night, of course. Would you like to try our BLT burgers? And for just $3.99, you can make it a combo. No, I wouldn't. What I mean to say is, how did this restaurant get here? I'm sorry, if you have questions about our company, you'll have to speak to the CEO. He's the life of the company. I hope he's able to help you. Here at Beef Belly e Bills, Customer service is our top priority. I don't suppose you'd be able to contact your CEO and ask him to come here, could you? Not me. I'm just a cashier. Our CEO comes and goes when he wants to. Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot to ask. We have a special offer today. Would you like a free burger with your choice of drink? We're leaving now. End log. Closing statement, SCP-2789 was demolished 30 minutes after this interview. The burger and drink offered to researcher Redact to researcher Bob were found to contain traces of human blood, mucus, 
and bone marrow in the us and drink. The discovered materials did not test identical to the SCP-2789 they were obtained in. The employee who offered a special offer to researcher Bob became noticeably distressed after the offer was declined, calling researcher Bob ungrateful for not accepting his gift, presumably referring to SCP-2789-1. Interview 2 Interviewed SCP-2789-1 Interviewer Agent Ross Forward This interview was conducted at an instance of SCP-2789 in a redacted Washington. SCP-2789-1 was found sitting at a table, drinking a milkshake. Inside SCP-2789, prior to destruction and asked for an interview, SCP-2789-1 consented. Begin log. Can you tell me what your involvement with this place is? I'm the CEO of this fine company. Beautiful, isn't it? I must admit, I'm not a fan of the way you make the restaurants. I'm afraid to have a successful business in this day and age. You'll have to make sacrifices. I expected someone from your foundation to know that. Hang on, it's getting dark. That hurt. Ow. Funny that he says that uh, corporations make sacrifices in these days because I think that uh, there's a difference between what his company does and the exploitation that other companies do. Anyway, let's continue. We're not talking about my company. Let's focus on yours. Of course, of course. So here I was, sitting in my office one day, and I thought, what if I could increase the number of restaurants in my business at no cost? And increase production, also at no oh, cost. Sure, there are some morally or ethically questionable things. The deaths of hundreds just to increase production. <clears throat> But ultimately, it's worth it to increase my business. Every person who accepts my gift is a hero, a sacrificial lamb to further something far greater than themselves. It's not like the old days where someone would offer you a human sacrifice to help you along. Imagine that those days, they were offering to sacrifice someone else for you. No, the world has changed, and I've adapted it along with it. After all, I am the life of the company. Your employees say the same thing, word for word. What exactly does that mean? A brief silence as SCP-2789-1 finishes its milkshake. That's a company secret. SCP-2789-1 Excuses itself to the restroom. End log. Closing statement. Following the conclusion of this interview, Agent and Ross immediately called for MTF Zy-17 to retrieve SCP-2789-1. However, when MTF unit at Zy-17 arrived, SCP-2789-1 was no longer present. The instance of SCP-2789 was destroyed immediately after the interview. SCP-2789 and one's knowledge of the Foundation is considered to be a security risk, and efforts to contain and question it have been increased. And there you have it. If you're ever looking into a fast food a, 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 a restaurant to go to, make sure it's not a one called Beef Belly Bills, or really any that ever claims to want to just give you a free meal. Just remember, 
There is no such thing as a free lunch. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. My eyes are stuck closed. I'm not sure why. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!